Hi guys, this tutorial is to show you how to optimize Virtual DJ so that it's perfectly set up for scratching. Here we're using Virtual DJ Pro 7.4 and this is assuming that you're going to use either uh, the uh, mouse control or a controller, a MIDI controller to scratch with. This is not the settings if you're going to use timecode vinyl or timecode CD. Okay, first of all, in the actual main uh, skin, this is the default skin, here in the central panel, uh, you need to have this selected to scratch. Now, this is where all of your time code vinyl settings would be. You're not going to need these, but this is the best view to see your waveforms moving backwards and forwards whilst you're scratching, and you get the most detail here in the waveform. Don't worry about these things, S, R, A, like I said, those are all related to timecode vinyl. But one little setting here you might want to play with is called Smart Scratch. It's just at the bottom here. Now what happens here is that when you're scratching, it will cut out any reverse movements of the jog wheel, uh, or when you're using the, um, uh, the mouse here. So I'm going to do a basic baby scratch, forwards and backwards, and then I'll switch on the smart scratch and you'll be able to hear how it cuts out the reverse sound. Here we go. So it's a bit of a cheat um, if you're not very good with the crossfader or you're still learning. Um, it's quite a cool little feature, but make sure you haven't got that accidentally switched on, otherwise you're going to wonder why it's sounding so strange. So, uh, and here is beat lock. Make sure that that is also switched off, otherwise that could start do some strange things with your scratches as it tries to lock your scratch sounds into the beat grid of uh, the uh, of the opposing track. So uh, there you go, that's all you need to do in the actual front panel. The rest of the settings are in the config section here. So first of all you want to go to options and crossfader here, this needs to be set to scratch, seems pretty obvious. Uh, and then here the jog mode should be set to vinyl. Now the jog sensitivity, which is the next one down, um, I've used Virtual DJ with a lot of different controllers from a lot of different manufacturers and roughly in the middle is the right setting. However, it will be dependent on your particular jog wheel, the size of the jog wheel and the um, calibration of the controller. So play around with this, but somewhere between halfway and three quarters is, uh, is usually where it sits. The jog sensitivity for cue and bend are not related to scratching, that's when you'll need to cue and bend, so um, you can have those set however you want them for those particular functions. And the next is the disc speed, 33 RPM I would recommend, that's what works best. Okay, you don't need anything else here for scratching, the next thing you want to look at is performances. So latency, try to get your latency as low as you possibly can. Uh, whilst you've got really good response of the jog wheel and the faders and uh, it still sounds good. If you go too low and your computer can't handle it, it will start to sound a bit funny. The typical sound is sounding like it's underwater and you don't want that. Then here, scratch, you want this optimized for quality. And here, master tempo, make sure that this is set to pure scratch, otherwise when you're scratching, you'll get all sorts of weird and wonderful noises going on, which is not what you want. So that's it. Those are all the settings you need in Virtual DJ. Um, pretty much all of the controllers that you would connect to Virtual DJ uh, will work great with those settings. Some controllers will have individual settings of their own for things like jog wheel sensitivity and crossfader curve. But as long as you've got these settings sorted in the software, you shouldn't be hindered in any way from scratching. Hope that helps. See you soon.